Hey Scorpio and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to take a look into your recent past, your current energy and your future and we're going to see what spirit would like you to know. Now for those of you that are interested, I do personal readings and I currently have a sow so it's only £30 for a half an hour reading. But yeah, let's jump into it and see what spirit would like you to know. Messages for Scorpio. Okay, they come flying out. We'll take them. We've got Justice, the Nine of Pentacles. Let's get a couple more. What does Scorpio need to know? Sun, Moon, Rising. Messages for Scorpio. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. Okay. Balance being restored here. I feel like spirit is on your side. You're stepping into your independence. You feel happy in your own company. You feel like when you're by yourself, you don't need anybody. You don't need, you don't need to be around others to feel good about yourself or to feel happy and comfortable. I feel like being by yourself, you know that you have everything that you need. And don't get me wrong, I don't think it was always like that. I really don't because I see here that balance is being restored in your life. And I'm getting this sense that it's inner peace that's coming back to you. For some time, you may have felt like it was so hard for you to find that peace in yourself. You could have looked for ways to distract yourself. Perhaps in the past, you were always out or you were doing things to keep busy. And it's like you finally got to this place now where you don't need to do all of that. You don't. And if you feel an emotion, if you feel something that is troubling you, you allow yourself to feel it. And because of that, you're releasing it. You're not holding on to things. You're not burying these emotions anymore. I think that, you know, in the past, you could have buried a lot of pain, a lot of things that you didn't want to deal with. And the thing that you have learned is that it's always going to come back up. And sometimes it happens in very unexpected ways, whether that's anger, outbursts, or just suddenly something hitting you. It's like you had that cycle. You've been through that phase where... You tried running away from your problems and it didn't get you anywhere. You know, I feel like there were times in your life where things didn't work out for you and it seemed like that's all you could focus on. You were looking at what, what went wrong, what didn't work out. You wasn't looking at these other cups that were still standing, the things that you had, the things that mattered. Something that you lost in the past that seemed like your world was falling apart, it was actually setting you free. It was, it was setting you free. And you would have never known that at the time. You would have never been able to understand that when you were going through that experience. Now, I feel you're starting to realize, you're realizing how much it taught you, how you've changed as a person. This is a very interesting reading already. There's a big transformation that you've been through. Things have been difficult at times, but you've never let that stop you. It's like you're giving yourself a fresh start, another chance to be who you are. If there were things about yourself that you didn't like, you realised you can change that. You can be whoever you want to be. You don't have to hold on to those parts of yourself that you didn't like, the parts of yourself that you felt didn't align with who you truly wanted to be or who you are deep down. Yeah, I just feel like this has been a big wake up call for you. It has. We've got someone new entering your life. So there could be someone in the recent past that's come into your life. And yeah, we'll clarify. We'll see if we can find out a bit more. But this is a new energy, a new person money path a path of money is waiting for you dark man dealings or relationship with a man with dark complexion or hair weeping willow family sorrow okay this could be tied up to this man whoever this man is with dark hair he's important to you he means a lot to you in your life there could be something that's happened with your family in the recent past there could be either a loss of somebody in the family or something that hasn't worked out I feel like people go to you, they lean on you, they can trust you, they feel comfortable around you, especially your family and the people you love. They know that you're always going to be there for, you, for them. They know that you're a very loyal person. 
They may rely on you in ways that you don't even realise. But Scorpio, this success is always been yours. It is yours. It is literally waiting for you. So my camera shut off, but yeah, as I was saying, this path of success is literally waiting for you. It is yours. And I feel like you can sense it. You can feel that you're on the right track. Let's go a little bit deeper. Okay, we've got the Queen of Wands. This is you. This is you. You're not waiting around. You're not hoping for things to happen, you are creating it. I feel like you know that if you want to get something done, if you want to build this life that you've been wanting, it's down to you. Current energy for Scorpio. What is going on with Scorpio at the moment? We've got the chariot. The eight of swords. The ten of cups. The king of pentacles. Okay. Okay. Wow, you're moving forward. You're leaving something behind. You're focused on the stability, on your long-term goal. And I think you know that to do that, you can't surround yourself with things that you know for a fact you do not want in your future. If there was someone or something in your life that you knew you didn't want to be around when you reach this Ten of Cups, you're cutting that out. And somebody here can feel it. They feel trapped. They feel like... There's just no way to get through to you. They're stuck with their own thoughts. Whoever this person is, they feel like they just, they can't understand how you're feeling at the moment. They can't understand what you're thinking. And it is driving them crazy. It really is. But you're in your power here. You are. You're doing what's right for you. You're not going to let other people manipulate you. You're not going to stay in a situation when you know for a fact it's not what you deserve. It's not what aligns with who you are. You're very goal orientated right now. It's like nobody can stop you. There could have been people in your life that would kind of put you down in a way where it seemed like a joke or it seemed, you know, they try and play it off like they didn't really mean it or there was somebody with that type of sneaky energy that was around you kind of trying to plant seeds in your mind that you wouldn't be able to make it or you wouldn't be able to do this. You see straight through it. You see through that energy. You can't be fooled. You really can't. You look at that and you see that it's their insecurities. You see that it's because actually they see your potential. They see just how far you'll go. They see that you're willing to take risks, that you're willing to do things that other people wouldn't be able to do and they don't like it. We've got a chain of events that are going to affect your life. April. A fair woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with blonde, grey or white hair and a temporary situation, okay. The position that you're in right now, I feel like it's just the start. You know that there's so much further that you're going to go. You know that it's temporary. You know that this, what you're building, this is a stepping stone in that direction, but this is not forever. It's like you're just getting started. There's someone here, a fair woman, light hair. I feel like this person is very important to you. It's somebody that means a lot to you in your life. But it's like this, this path that you're on right now, the chain of events, they're all leading you to something very important. And I feel like you can just feel it. You can. In April, there's going to be a lot of big changes. A lot of new things are coming into your life. I feel like by April, this temporary situation, whatever it is, may not be in your life anymore. Or you may be in a different position where, yeah, you're going to be able to see that all of this hard work is paying off. Fire, strong emotion, passionate love or hate. Bowl, plenty of material things. Yeah, by April you're going to notice there's a lot more money coming in. I feel like you're getting credit for something that you're doing. People are noticing your hard work. They're noticing that you're improving, that you're just really putting in the effort. It's like other people around you, they can see how well you're doing. You're getting this recognition that you've been wanting. But there is someone here who's got this, there's someone who like, they may seem like they hate you, like they just, that hatred comes from love. I know that sounds strange, but 
there's a very thin line between love and hate and there's someone that has this hate they have this anger and it's because they have a lot of strong emotions towards you it's like they don't know how to channel it they don't know what to do with it and i feel like this person they are struggling a lot they are there's something here that is affecting them your behavior is affecting them and i feel like you just get to this person and they don't want to admit it to themselves they don't want to see that it's because they have those strong feelings towards you but they do scorpio and that's the only way they know how to channel it is by just turning it into that hate younger woman dealing with a relationship with a younger woman so there's someone here younger than you it could be this person if not this is just someone who is making an impact on you right now i just feel like you you're doing so well in yourself these people that are doubting you these people that are trying to throw these little comments towards you it's like you're just not letting anything bother you you're not you know what you want. You know what you need to do. And like I said, you're unstoppable right now. You really are. What is coming up for Scorpio? Future messages for Scorpio. We've got the Queen of Cups. The Ace of Swords. The Queen of Swords. The Ace of Wands. And the Four of Wands. You have... Okay, you're very... You're being very sharp, very to the point. There's no holding back. If somebody is asking you an opinion here, you're going to give it to them. You're going to be very upfront and honest. I feel like you could have held back. You could have tried to sugarcoat things a little bit. And I feel like you're going to be pushed to the point where you just have to say something and someone is not going to like it. Now, the thing is, Scorpio, this comes from a place of you knowing what you have to offer. I feel like there's someone here who tries to bring a lot of drama to your life, tries to hold you back in some way. And it's just not what you want. It's not. And there's going to be some words that are said. And I feel like there's going to be some type of closure, some type of ending, because there is a fresh start here. There is. There was distance that I was feeling in your current energy. This person that came out that felt like they couldn't really get through to you. In your future energy, it's like there's going to be a conversation. There is. And yeah, I, you're going to come across as very cold, very harsh. But I feel like you need to do this. You need to say how you truly feel or what's been on your mind. You can't keep it to yourself. And yeah, I feel like you're going to be pushed to the point where it kind of just comes out. Yeah, it's there's a lot going on here. A lot going on. But this is down to you and you know what you need to do. I don't, I feel like I don't even need to be telling you right now because it's like your intuition is so on point. Feather, someone you know is undependable and insincere. Candle, you will be shown the way. Fair man, doing as a relationship with a man with blonde, grey or white hair. I feel like there's a lot of new people that have been around you recently. And yeah, I feel like you... You're that type of person that everyone everyone gets along with. Even the people that don't want to like you, it's like they can't help but be drawn towards you. There's something about you. Now, this other energy, this person who can't really let go of you, this person that feels like they need this closure, they are undependable. They are. And I feel like this is someone you could have had a lot of highs and lows with, someone that you gave chances to and it didn't work out. Yeah, you're seeing now that this happened for a reason. I feel like the path that it's led you down, you wouldn't be where you are now if you didn't have that experience. You wouldn't have met a lot of the people that have come into your life that are very important to you if you didn't go through that. So it's very interesting. I feel like you've gained a lot of wisdom. But like I said, you know what to do. You're being shown the way. Spirit is with you. This reading feels very like all over the place, a lot of energy here. So you could be feeling like you're just so driven, so motivated right now. You've just got all of this energy that you're fueling into something. I've got happiness, success. 
that. Take care, enemies are working against you and you'll be playing a different role, yeah. Like I said, this temporary situation that you're in, I feel like you're going to be rewarded for something. You're going to get the recognition that you deserve and you're going to be playing a different role. And I can view this two ways. Either you're going to be stepping into a new role, you're going to be doing something different or also people are viewing you differently. They're seeing you for who you truly are and that's because you're aligned with yourself. This success though, this success that's bringing you this happiness, not everyone is going to be happy for you. Enemies working against you. You need to be very careful who you give your time to. I feel like you already know that. But jealousy can be a very ugly emotion and there is some people around you that see your success, see what you're doing and yeah, they just, they don't like it. They don't like it. There was people that doubted you in the past that didn't think you would get to where you're going to be. You're going to not only shock a lot of people, but it's like you, you don't care about their opinions. You don't care about what others think. And I feel like that's what's bothering people so much is that you've moved into a new phase of your life now. You're not letting the past hold you back. You're not letting who you used to be control you or control your life. And I hope this makes sense because it's hard to explain this energy. It's like people had this version of you in their mind. And deep down, I felt like you always knew it wasn't really who you were. It didn't align with your morals. There was something you could have been doing in the past or the people you were around or just you may have just not been reaching your full potential. But there was something that you knew wasn't really you. And now you've got away from that. Now you've found who you are. A lot of people don't like that you've taken that step. You know, they have that version of you that they created, that the way that they saw you, the person you used to be, and that is not you anymore. It's not you. And I see this a lot when I do Scorpio readings, that there's just so much transformation. And I feel like you're the type of person that sometimes you need to get angry at yourself. And you need to get to that point where you're like, I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to not only, you know, show myself, but show these people that never really knew me to begin with. It's like you got, you had to get angry. You had to get angry to get to this point. That's why sometimes when you're going through those hard moments, it gives you so much more motivation, ambition than you would have ever had if everything was just fine and calm and there was no ups and downs, you know, it it really does give you that push sometimes. We've got Discord among friends and family and May. Spring is going to be a time for you where a lot is changing. We've had April, we've had May. I feel like there's a lot of new things, a lot of doors opening. A lot of big changes here. Dog protection from a powerful friend. You are protected. You are. It's like even this, even when evil eye tries to get you, when people try to stand between you and your goals, it just will never work. You are protected. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. Financial pinch. Okay, so very interesting because we were just talking about anger. And I feel like, yeah, sometimes you do need to control it and you need to take that and turn it into something good. And that is exactly what I feel you have done here. And by turning that anger into a positive, to me, that is controlling it. Now, it's like things were going slow for you. You were seeing little changes, but you're getting ahead. You are slowly but surely getting ahead. I feel like you need to just really tune into yourself, keep going. The intuition right now is all you need. You're not listening to other people. That is exactly the energy you need to stay in. You need to just make sure that you don't let anyone try to pull you away from this path because everything I can see here is that you are going in the right direction and I feel like things are just going to keep going up from here. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading, Scorpio. Please like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.